If you haven't heard of perplexity, I have a feeling that your life is about to change. I'm not even exaggerating. So years ago, I found myself asking the question, could anyone ever replace Google? We've all had Google ingrained in our lives for so long now. So could someone come along and make search more efficient, more customized, more personalized, more interactive, cleaner, and more direct? The answer is yes. And that answer is perplexity. And I'm going to go over in detail what it is, how to use it, and what makes it so special. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben Silverman. I come from the traditional film and television worlds, but found myself diving headfirst into technology. And I really wanted to find a way to blend the two worlds in a simple way. My goal and focus is really making AI more accessible for creative people and helping newcomers learn the tools to give them superpowers. So most everyone I speak to has never heard of perplexity. Usually ChatGPT is the only AI that they have heard of, if that. But that is about to change. Now, while ChatGPT acts as a really solid assistant, helping you with tasks and research, and will do a lot of the similar things that Perplexity does, Perplexity really has search nailed down. In a way I know I have been hoping Google would do, but they just haven't. Now this search engine uses all of the large language models, like Meta's Llama, OpenAI's ChatGPT, and Anthropic's Claude. When you are a pro member, you can even choose which one of these you would like your answers to come from. They actually add different models all the time, and they do it pretty fast. Now, their goal is to make sure that the, the best answer comes from the right model. If you've used these before, you know that you might get different answers from each. So this one kind of culminates and tries to figure out, well, which one will give the best answer for the right topic. And that's incredible. Now, you still might be asking yourself, what exactly is perplexity? And I'm going to answer that. Perplexity is an AI powered platform designed to help their users find information quickly and efficiently. It functions as a search engine that browses the internet in real time to answer your queries. Yes, real time. ChatGPT is not trained up until today, but this will allow you to get all the information up to date on what is going on today. Now to get started, you're just gonna go to their site, perplexity.ai. You're gonna sign up and set up a profile. You can also download the app. Once you're on the main page, you could basically use it like Google and search for exactly what it is that you wanna know. The interface is super clean too. If you look at it right here on the main page, it says, ask me anything. It allows you to focus, set a focus for your sources. Where do you want it to source from? Like academic, writing, Reddit, YouTube, Wolfram. Uh, on the site right here, you have the ability to try Copilot. Now Copilot allows a focused way of trying to get to know new things or learn new things or discover. Copilot can be toggled on right here. One, two, now it's off and you can use it even for free, you have a certain amount of times that you can use it and it reloads every four hours. Now, if you look on the left-hand side, just on this interface, I'm gonna take you through really quick. You can start a new thread, which is like a new chat on a new topic, or it's like if you refresh Google every time, you could come home, this is what home is. Uh, you could come to discover trending topics. What are people searching for? Discover the rabbit and perplexity collab, Instagram's Bieber problem, anything you wanna know. But honestly, you could just come here and discover new things. And then you have your library, things that you have searched. So imagine if all of your Google searches were saved. This is similar to what ChatGPT does. And what's really incredible about this is they have collections. I'm gonna go into that in just a little bit. Now, it provides accurate answers from up-to-date sources, and they give you links to the sources they got their information from. So I'm gonna try something right here. I'm gonna say, how do you create a television show? You're gonna see how clean this interface is. It's giving you sources to where it got all the information, something that you don't get from the other search engines. You have videos, everything, audio, uh, text, articles, it's all kept on one platform. 
uh, see right here you have this and if it doesn't go uh, specifically into what you want it even gives you related topics but you can also say okay produce a pilot uh, how do you produce a pilot you can go into uh, specific categories you can speak to the document which is so interesting you write a script development pre-production so you're basically now talking to your search engine and it gives you all the tips and the tricks it gives you all of these it gives you exactly what you want you can say i want videos you could say you want you can literally focus it to do anything now uh let's move on from this it can also create code summarizing articles of emails assisting users in generating code or summarizing content okay I have a prompt that I used that I wanted to uh, ask it to do. Are you able to help me write code for an application that grabs the weather and texts it to me every morning? Uh, so I am going to just hit enter and then it gives me that code snippet. To create an application that grabs the weather and texts it to you every morning, you can use OpenAI, uh, Open Weather Map a API, and it literally gives me the code and it tells me what to do and how to actually get what I need. Then you can use something like Zapier uh, to create the automations, and then you could send it to your Google Sheet, you could send it to Notion. All of the things that I'm talking about in other videos, you can start using this to integrate. There's, a, there's even an API that you can actually build applications to do it exactly what you want, uh, which is pretty incredible. It doesn't stop here. Perplexity AI also helps you explore topics in depth using the Copilot feature to provide a guided AI search experience, allowing users to explore topics and learn new things. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to toggle on my Copilot. I want to say, okay, here's some of the ideas, benefits of cold showers, how much caffeine and matcha tea, uh, benefits of cold showers. Always wanted to know that. So now Copilot, what it's doing, it's understanding the question, searching the web, cold showers have been associated with a variety of potential health benefits, right? Boosting immunity, and it's really interesting. So it tells you right here what it's doing, understanding questions, it found in eight sources. Uh, it basically guides you through the experience. Again, GPT does something similar, but uh, the way it gives you the information is really what I'm the most excited about. One of the coolest things about Perplexity for me is the ability to organize your threads. And you can start a collection by a topic, even share with others and actually allow them to contribute. If you come right here and come home, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to library. And then here are here are different threads that I've used. But the cool thing here is, is I want to add a collection and say I want recipes. Um, I want to find the best recipes to cook for uh, dinner. And that's it, right? So now it's shareable. I don't care who sees it. Now I'm gonna go into this thread. I haven't done anything. What is a good Italian uh, chicken parm recipe? So right now the co-pilot's on. What cooking method do you prefer for the chicken parm? Uh, I want it baked. So it wants to really dive into exactly what it is that you're looking for, and that's really cool. Here is a detailed recipe for baked chicken parmesan. Uh, boom, and it's it's done. Again, things that you would search, but now you can actually ask questions to this, like what if I want to replace this, or how can I do this instead? And it gives you all your sources, obviously, skinny taste, all of your different YouTube videos, how specifically to do it, how to share. Now, again, going back to the collections, I'm gonna go right back to the collections and go to recipes and I can come up right here and I can edit my collection, delete it. I can copy the link and share it. And if I wanna have other contributors contribute to this thread, I can just add them via email. It's simple as that. And then literally, if you're say even making a television show or trying to create an essay, you can keep all of your research topics inside the one collection. And it's amazing. It's like having your own research assistant whenever you need to, and then going off on different tangents, but always being able to come back and carry on that same conversation. Now, Perplexity is also working in real time. You can even upload an image which can help provide additional context. This can even help the AI give you a better response. All you have to do is attach an image. It gives you the opportunity to attach an image and then it can help. 
Uh, it can identify images. If you find something interesting that you wanna know more about, all you have to do is snap a picture and ask Perplexity what it is. It can interpret charts. If you have a chart or a graph that you need help interpreting, you can upload it and ask Perplexity for an analysis of that chart. Or say you wanna make a social media post, it can help you put together a caption for that post. If you wanna generate a caption for a picture on your social media, you can just upload the image to Perplexity and you say, generate me a description for this image. It also helps with document processing. Perplexity has added a feature that allows you to upload your documents, which can be helpful for working on text-based content. To be honest, I don't know how often I will use anything else from this point on. You can even set up automations with Notion to make everything go so much smoother and really let you be more efficient and productive. If scaling, and being more efficient and productive is something that interests you, that won't be a problem anymore.